champion and world number one for the very first time. Take it away, John. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the action, the second round action of the Labrooks Masters, all brought to you by the Professional Darts Corporation. We are live on ITV Sport. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to meet the players. Would you please welcome taking part in his third Masters, the winner of five PDC titles, ladies and gentlemen, the rock star, Joe Kala! Ladies and gentlemen, from Wales, it's time to meet the world number one, a two-time Grand Slam champion, the reigning World Cup champion. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the reigning champion of the world. Good to see Joe applauding that intro. So, so sad there aren't more fans here to appreciate it, but I'm sure Go understands exactly the situation. Let's see what he can do now with his brand new world title. Alan and John have taken over the mics for us. Well, I tell you what, Gerwin might not have watched that final performance in any great detail. I'll bet any money you want to put against it that he certainly watches that walk on and that introduction again and again, because that's the sort of thing you dream about. And to be introduced as he was there, that is a very, very proud sporting moment. Absolutely fabulous feeling for Gerwin Price. Yes, there's no crowd there, but it doesn't stop that feeling that he has inside at this moment in time being introduced as the world number one and world champion on the stage. Outstanding. Joe Kellen, when he plays at his best, he can be quite outstanding. He was brilliant in the early stages against Stephen Bunting yesterday, and at times at the Ali Pali, he was wonderful as well. So what's it going to be? with world number one and world champion there's when he was being introduced that's the reaction of joe cullen lovely moment and you could see the friendship First between the two men the when they met up on Game. stage lovely to see well gerwin price has got the darts he has the responsibility of being world number one of world champion he is also the man oh, now there to be shot at yes that's what always comes when you top of the mountain I have to also remember in the World Cup this year as well with Johnny Clayton another proud moment for 16. him so it's been an outstanding year but I like the moments where he said it was a step-by-step -step approach when his tour card in 2014 got no in the idea. top 64 2015 2016 top 32 top 16 the following year then the top in 2018 then started to win European yeah. tours and pro tours obviously the back-to-back -back Grand Slams and, and that fabulous year as we mentioned last year he's not been everybody's cup of tea it's fair to say among the fans but 100. I'm pretty sure that huge numbers have been won over he's fiercely competitive no, nice fellow great. though, he is, he's away from the hockey, he's you know, as, as nice a guy as you could meet. He speaks well, interviews well, and he's up there, he's there to do a job for himself, to win. You know, as he said, he's had some stick in the past, most of it unjustified in my opinion. 
great to see. He's, he's, he's a good player to watch. He's got everything. His game is fantastic. Well, you certainly notice him. Get a win you require 36. 36 then to take the opening leg. Yeah, and gets it. First, first start, first on, time of right. asking. If you were still here with us, many people look back and think so fondly of Eric Bristow. Eric would like this fella. 84. Oh, he would, he would love him, yeah. Because he, he, he loves the character, does Eric, and he likes the aggression and he likes people to express themselves on the stage and enjoy what they're doing. Whoa, and he most certainly no, does that. No, Brilliant no, start no, to no. leg number two. He'll want to produce oh, a show tonight fancy. he'll want to win and he'll want to win in style the question is which joe cullen turns up when he's at his best he can be so hot but he has Easy alarming fight. dips at times in his progress as a player and moments of brilliance and we saw that first session against stephen bunting it was unplayable 134 25 30 minutes against michael van Gerwen in the worlds exactly the same thing but as you say he does them of those moments where his form just dips oh, and lets his opponent no, back in the match. Right. Well, how about that? Nine darts down to 56. Cullen can only turn away and hope now this could be 56. break of throw number one. Tops it is. Double ten. 36. Cullen breeds again. 50. Joe Cullen, world leg. rank number 16. Yeah, fabulous leg there from Price with two maximums. It's, uh, disappointed he'd missed the double. He's on the second leg. And he's been punished by Joe Don't Cullen. Like it, like it was going to be 2 0. When you're world ranked number 16, you have to get used to the concept of facing the world Ooh, number one quite a lot. That's the way the draw will be working out. Uh, Price will just want to carry on the way he's done all of last season. Even in some of the games where he did lose, his opponent had to play brilliant to beat him. That's the level he plays at. As he said, Joe Cullen will fancy his chances if he can get his A game up there on the big stage. 48. He's done it so often before, but just needs to do it a little bit more consistently in a match. Last game we saw Peter Wright showing that he is going to take some beating the winner of this one will face ad lewis tomorrow afternoon great to see ad lewis back as a winner again 58 certainly a lot of uh, a lot of positive feedback to his progress on social media since that win against gary anderson a lot of people very pleased to see ad throwing well again 34. yeah played very well put under pressure in both his matches Got through them with pretty good style, it has to be said. 59. That smile on his face as well, looked comfortable, didn't he? Very much so. Huge deflection into the five there. 44. As his magnificent standard of the first couple of frames just slips a wee bit. 57. Get a win, you're a chance there for Colin. Put a 140 in there. So, uh, these two visits here. Do you win? Oh, it can be done now. We've done one visit. There How we go. About that? He's on the third leg. 132. Oh, 123. Almost as simple as shelling peas. A positive start from Price. Just a little bit of a mistake in leg two, but he's leading 2 1. 103 and a half average. Big finish already on the board. A couple of maxis. And one in leg four. Killen back on throw, but he's being outscored. He knows he's going to have to up his numbers if he's going to win this match. And he's falling short with that first dart. I mentioned earlier, John, about those moments when he has 60. moments of brilliance in the match. First, that has to be at the top of the treble 20. There we go. 140. Mm. 
100. Doubt he'll have had one eye on his beloved Manchester United earlier on, Joe Cullen. Nice to scramble anything out of that game against Arsenal. Nil nil. It's pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> Calm yourself. 120, Joe, you've won 64. Good dart, double eight. And, and beautifully and done. Cool. That's what Cullen can, can do and make the game look ridiculously game. easy. Oh, a decent start from both players. Oh, dip just a little bit, but Palace has almost kind of been in control of the match, but Joe Cullen's hung in there and held through on both occasions. 134. Pause in the action at the end of this egg. How Joe Cullen would love just to nick a little break of throw before they leave the stage. 96. He's just starting to improve his big scoring. He has to do it two or three times in a leg. 96. Give himself that opportunity on the double. He needed that trouble with the last start. Puts him on a finish. Good first dip. Well. Good thinking as well, isn't it? A lot of players know numerically what they want when they get around. 57. Get up in your mark. 67. He's got a bull finish if he wants it. Not now, though, because that's the wrong side of the wire. 123. Beautiful setup, though, nevertheless. Should fill it in. One hundred. Maximum number two, two apiece. And now tops for the hold of throw to put him ahead again. And there it is. All going along very nicely for Gavin Price, world number one, world champion, averaging 101. But Joe Cullen hanging right on in there. Price leading 3 2, and it's on throw. Cameras here in Milton Keynes. Gerwin Price against Joe Cullen. All on throw at the moment. And we've had some excellent action here this evening. Lovely to have live darts for you once again Six here Joe on Joe ITV4. AD Lewis Jim. a winner. Nice to be able to say that. Peter Wright a winner. And now who's it going to be? Will it be Price? Will it be Cullen? Cullen 3 2 down. That's that last match. John, certainly the match of the tournament for me. So I'm welcome Peter Wright. Outstanding from Simon. Just couldn't take it to that last leg, could he? 129. Oh, galling to be walking off stage with an average of what was 105.6 or something like that and losing. Nine, yeah. 13 maximum in the match as well. Oh. Terrific standard from both. But Peter Wright who progresses. The reigning champion here. 96. And this one already bubbling up nicely towards another good match for you here. 99. Cullen can stay with Price's heavy scoring. You never know. Yeah, Joel's kind of been hanging in there. Had his moments, of course. But he's not hit that brilliant purple patch that he did yesterday in that first session. And as we mentioned earlier. In the World Championships against Michael Van Gerwen, so he'll be, he'll be fighting to get to that moment. So many have talked about Joe Cullen's natural talent, about his ability, and he, by his own admission, says that sometimes he's maybe listened to that a little bit too much, and now looking for the double, but not to be this time. And he's just said, "I'm going to go out there now." It's very well people saying it. I've got to get out there and prove it. Correct. Double 16 for Gerwin Price. This would be for a break of throw. And he's and taken it. Gerwin Price. Just composure there. Found the angle. Seven to move over Royfers. slightly. Game. Just to open up the bed. Ouch. That hurt Joe Cullen. 140. Mm. Price averaging over 102, Joe Cullen 97, another quality match. 100.
T4. Yeah, it's been a good feature of Price's game, that the move down to the 19s. The switch. Whoa. Maximum number three for Joe Whoa. Cullen. Oh, he'd love to be able to bounce straight back here. But Price Whoa. having none of it. Yeah, the other two legs, Joe hit a maximum. He lost the leg. So, in danger of losing this one. Get a win so also at the maximum. Seven. Tops them for 5 2. Yeah, An 11 leg. dart leg. Beautifully Joe done. Joe. Top darting action being produced by the world champion. 100. Won the World Series Finals, World 100. Grand Prix, and the World Cup of Darts proudly with Johnny Clayton in 2020. Clayton still to go in our last match, and that is another maximum, number four for Callum. Pretty well, but only up against the number one, and for the second consecutive leg, he follows Cullen's maximum with a maximum of his own. Spectacular stuff, Alan. 121. Still a good chance for Cullen, though. Feeling he's got to take this. Yeah, he's got to take this ton out, hasn't he? He sense he's going to have to get this. Look for the two top fruit. Get a win you require. 81. 19. Dub. 12 now. Oh. He is throwing so well. An 11 darter. He's throwing leg after leg at Cullen. Averaging 108.45 now. And playing superbly. Do you know he's never had a televised nine darter, Gerwin Price? The way he's should throwing. Should in the world, shouldn't he? 96. Remember that set? Yep. 11, 10, 11 and... 11, was it? Or something like that? 10, 11, 10? Oh, oh he wanted that, didn't he? Look at the look of disappointment as that third dart just fell south. 95. That was it. 11, 12 and 10. And he missed the double in the last one. And we'll pretend. I'm impressed that you rifling through your encyclopedic notes to find that. That was in the back of my mind somewhere. 93. I don't know which part. <laughs> Alongside good in the 38 knows average, what. I think it was. 40 Not bad. Get a new require 88. Oh, good dart. Tops. Oh, three eleven dart finishes on the trot for Gerwin Price. Seven two. Cullen's not being not been throwing badly. He's being blown away. Ninety two. Three eleven darters back to back is monumental, really, isn't it? Let's, let's be honest. Price was two to one on favourite to win this match. The bookies still had Michael Van Gerwen, who's playing Johnny Clayton next as outright favourite to win the title. I wonder if there might be a little bit of a, a readjustment if Price continues in this vein to the end of the match. 58. Wouldn't surprise me one bit. He's playing like a world number one and a world champion. Not that we didn't expect it. 110 average. Five maximums. 57. From the world number one. In the last few years, the champion has tended to go on and win here. Michael Van Gerwen in 2017 and 2019, and Peter Wright last year. So on that basis of progression, you'd think that Gerwin Price could well walk away from 64. here with the trophy and the £60,000 first prize. Absolutely. Oh, good.
goodness me, here we go again. He's missed 72. one. Oh, he can't Uruguay believe it. Answered it as well, didn't he? That's right. He goes for the 18s. He leaves the 20 route open. Good finish Joe from him. Well done from Joe Cullen. Hanging in there, but that was an absolutely superb little mini session there from Gerwin Price. Those 11 dark legs were magnificent, and he leaves the stage leading his friend Joe Cullen. 7 3 at this stage. Price only needing three more and he has looked mighty impressive Alan yes it was impressive from the start 13 outs in the first leg he got two maximums in the second leg but missed two outs at the double but since then the one three two out was a three maximums and three 11 darters back to back incredible stuff from the world champion quality yeah brilliant and Three yeah, 11 darts. I mean, that is us. outstanding darts. Those who watch it on a regular basis will need no telling that. If you're just coming in here as a as a casual viewer, just underline the 96. fact that Price, particularly in that second session, there, absolutely wonderful. Highest ever average we've had in these uh, championships was over 112 Easy from one. Michael Van Gerwen, and you can see right there that Gerwin Price is not too far adrift of that and good double success as well and is he in for another one decides to switch away to the 18s but he's looking in control once again here on the throw trying for all he's worth to stay with him but it's a big ask the way price is throwing well, it's going to be a monumental effort isn't it and like you say when you get somebody hitting back to back 11 darters your, your chances are so limited if you're against the throw there, you've got to do it in nine. That makes it five maximums apiece. Now, Cullen, a chance of a break. And when you get a chance here like this, you need to be taking it. And that's a great first dart. Double 18. Double nine. No, oh dear, and he knows Gonna that is a great opportunity gone begging, and Price might make him pay right now. Yeah, fabulous setup from Price, but the first opportunity went to Cullen there. Still on that left for Price. Oh, well, he's Joe missed. Quite well, well, well. Cullen has to refocus. Double four. Double two. 16. Well, I just wonder with that big visible display 10. of disappointment at the previous visit whether he found it difficult there to refocus and here goes Gary needing double He's five and, and finding it and there is the little price goal. Yeah, both players almost giving their opponent the chance to win the leg. 58. And Joe won the one before the break. Taking that one would have given him some hope, definitely. Against the darts, he would have been throwing here. And a 7 4 Ooh, behind, but now such a big uphill task it was anyway. He missed two visits to the ball to win the leg. 92. Throws under pressure again. Price going to be surging ahead against the throw. 140. Mm. Cullen hasn't thrown bad darts here. He's averaging 57. over 96. Just hasn't been able to find the level needed. 96. Yeah, that last leg will be a big disappointment to him. Two so clear darts at double and then return to the board. 58. The 18 to lead double four. Just wasn't anywhere near. 131 he's looking for went for tops tops 71 no damage cullen a long way back 97 get him in like here we'll 60. put price one leg away and we'll be throwing in the next one he's Nine three, three, only one more one needed one. it's turning out to be an easy night's work for gerwin price 
and a little bit of a message to the rest. He's had to produce the goods, though. Oh, yeah. 13th leg, get her into throw first. Game on. But you, you wonder, don't you, when they come in having had, what is it now, three weeks, more than that, since the end of the World Championships, oh, whether or not there's going to be some sort of a reaction, whether they're going to be able to hit those heights again, and, well, he's answered that question. Yes, because all they could do was practice at home, and then obviously when they get to the tournament in the practice room, practice area. 84. Closing in on a victory to set up a quarter-final match against A.D. Lewis. Don't miss that tomorrow afternoon. 134. Yeah, we've still got one more game this evening as well. A certain Michael Van Gerwen against 96. Gerwin Price's World Cup partner, Johnny Clayton. We beat him in the same round last year. 88. That's a nice setup from Price. Might just be two darts away, having thrown 82. 12 in this leg. Get a win you require to completing 56. a very emphatic win. Tops then. Double 10. 36. No, but Cullen not on a finish. Price will be back. General giving himself a bit of a telling off, mumbling to himself in the last 41. two or three visits. Get a win you require. It's really 20. a culmination of the match. This time, Game indeed, shot. the average just and taking a little bit of a Get kick a in the last <laughs> visit or two, but he wins like the champion he now is. Gerwin Price averaging over 104 and sweeping aside Joe Cullen in the end by a very emphatic margin and moving on as now, as he will be so often, the man to beat, he wins it 10-3.